the best life plans don't always work out the way you think. So we've gone on to the second stage of our road trip, which is we're staying down at Stanthorpe and we're up to explore Giroi National Park, which is this magnificent park full of uh, a lot of granite boulders and outcrops and um, very quintessential Australian landscape. And we've got some wildflowers and things out at the moment. And what we were going to do is walk up the pyramid today, which is a pyramid shaped kind of granite hill, which gives you a really good view over it, the landscape. Um, however, yesterday I got an absolutely terrible case of gastro and uh, yeah, it was not fun. Um, the, the car trip to get from, it was a, should have been a four hour car trip to get from Lamington to here was uh, interesting and uh, I'm still feeling a bit shabby and delicate today so I don't know if even though it's not a very long walk it is very steep I just don't know if I'm going to be able to manage it but we'll see how well I can manage um, we are here for a few more days it does unfortunately look like it's going to be wet for the next couple of days and I believe that walking up the pyramid when it's wet doesn't really work because it's all granite and when it's raining it all gets very slippery so it's kind of today or not at all probably but let's head on and we'll see how I manage. So I decided to pull the pin on walking up the pyramid. Uh, I'm just feeling an enormous lack of energy and uh, struggling a bit today. So Danny continued on to do that and um, I've come back down to the river here. At the moment I'm just having a nice little rest under some trees beside a little waterhole with a really lovely tree. Um, the bark is amazing. So taken a couple of photos here I'll probably just have a chill out and then I might go back down a bit further and see what opportunities there might be around the waterhole. I just decided I could try walking up the pyramid and probably not enjoy myself at all and I don't know about you but when I'm struggling then generally photography doesn't tend to go too well either. <laughs> So I thought if I come back down here to the river and there's some quite interesting um, shapes with the boulders and where the water flows through and some lovely trees. So I thought there's quite a lot of photo opportunities down here. So I've got a chance of uh, actually enjoying myself today if I come here.
So in the afternoon we decided to go to a little water hole and then we've come to check out this underground river. And there was a bit down the end which was kind of interesting. Nice. Hi. But then we did a walk around the side and came to the top and it's amazing up here. Very thankful Danny's here because he got me into spots to take photos that I would never be going by myself. Would freak me out <laughs> so he's much more nimble and sure-footed than I am and apparently because of that I probably wouldn't have managed the pyramid this morning anyway so all well that I gave that one a miss so have a look at um, some of the photos I've taken here there's I'll just mention there's this interesting feature in the rock on the other side of the the creek where it looks like, like it's almost like steps it's it's really really interesting but it's a natural feature I can't imagine what or how it got like that if anyone has any ideas let me know That's all from our day here at Giraween. Wasn't quite the day I was expecting, but still had a fun time anyway. Fingers crossed, got some good photos out of it, but you guys already know whether I have or not by now. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be back here again or not. Kind of weather depending. So hopefully we will and there'll be another one or this could be the last one from our road trip. Uh, if you missed our previous ones from the road trip go check out our walk through the lamington rainforest to the antarctic beach trees which are beautiful thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time